But first, a sobering warning to students and young people about the hidden dangers of ketamine use. The a Drugs Recovery Centre in Wales has told ICV News there's been an increase in the number of young people being admitted with bladder failure. That's because ketamine can cause organ failure in a much shorter time than drugs like heroin or alcohol. And the drug, which is used legally by pets as an animal tranquilizer, is cheap, which means students are more likely to use it. The effects can be life changing with patients having to use nappies or even have a stoma. And it's a big issue in Wales, as Rhys Williams now explains in his special report. I can't, I don't know if he's going to be OK, if you need an ambulance spot. This was Dan Parker at his lowest. In just a few months of daily ketamine use, he nearly lost the use of his bladder. He's one of a growing number of young people across the UK with similar stories. Now he's on the mend, but it's been a long and hard road. Because I had it all, to lost everything. To all I had was a phone and a bag of clothes. Everything else was gone family, friends, relationships, my son. I've been here a few weeks now and uh, yeah, they've rewired my brain for me, basically. You feel like and it's working? Yeah, 100%, 100%, life changing. It saved my life. At this rehabilitation centre on the North Wales coast, the 23-year-old tells me how ketamine took hold of his life. He started taking the drug at raves on the weekend, but in lockdown, it became habitual. And you were taking ketamine every day? Every day between seven and 14 grams every day of ketamine. And that had a really destructive effect on your body. Tell, yeah. tell us what happened. At the highest point, I couldn't hold more than four to six mil of water in my bladder. I had letters off consultants and doctors saying if I didn't stop, I'd be using a, a colostomy bag. Many say ketamine addiction is easy to hide compared to other drugs. Dan worked full time as an electrician while taking the drug every day and says he knows many others who are secretly addicted. It's everywhere. People, sit, people used to sit in a pub and done drugs socially where there was a bag of cocaine and a pint on a Friday night. Now it's a bag of cat and a pint. And it's definitely more the younger scene bringing it in, like from probably even as low as 16 to maybe late 20s, it's just everywhere. The centre's residential manager says Dan is part of a worrying trend of young people suffering irreversible organ damage due to ketamine abuse. The youngest that we've had is, is not, unfortunately not Dan, 23, we've had younger than that who's had experience. So when they start taking ketamine, it's euphoric, isn't it? They, but it can have um, disassociative effects to it. The severity of, of some of the side effects that they've had have ranged from um, needing a stent because of the a damage to their bladder to needing nappies. It's a trend police have spotted too, with forces in Wales in particular warning of a significant rise in the number of young people using ketamine. Last year, Welsh forces seized twice the amount of the drug per head compared to their counterparts in England. Latest figures show the quantity of ketamine seized by police forces and the border force increased by a massive 884% in a year, from 187 kilograms in 2021 to nearly 2,000 last year. Government statistics also show an increase in the number of people entering treatment with ketamine problems every year. The total number is now three and a half times higher than it was in 2015. Ketamine, which can cause a dreamlike sensation in users, isn't new to the party scene, but its prevalence is. Crucially, at around half the price of cocaine, it's cheap. Unlike other drugs, however, which can take decades to damage internal organs, ketamine abuse can cause irreversible damage quickly. This surgeon says she's operating on more and more young patients with serious bladder problems every year. Ketamine itself is when it's broken down by the body, it's eliminated through the urine and those chemicals are quite toxic to the linings of the bladder and causes inflammation, which changes to a form of scarring, which then replaces the, the bladder with an inelastic scarring tissue, uh, which unfortunately that is irreversible. For Dan, his treatment is nearly over, but beyond North Wales, there are many more just like him. Across the country, ketamine is proving a growing but hidden public health concern. Rhys Williams, ITV News, Old Colwyn.